Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now I think today we have just come to give you an update of what happened yesterday, yesterday at night, uh, what you should be expecting to happen today, and the reason why you should be part of the mass action that is going to take place uh, today, officially going forward. Now there is a message Raila Odinga has shared yesterday at night, the reason why you have to be part of this journal this is what he's saying yeah? and this a word from baba number one my dear kenyans i am not interested in your tribe your race your religion your age i am only interested in your happiness number two we make possible the impossible we are kenyans we set the trend number three i call on our people to awake the old fighting spirit that was always capable of bringing down failed bloodthirsty regime. The last one, people who want to take charge of their destiny can do it despite threat, intimidation and intimidation. In a matter of hours, we begin taking over our country and our destiny. I think that one is self-explanatory. That's a running call from Raila Molo Dingo. You should find a reason why you should be part of the mass action to be in charge of your own destiny. So be ready and get out. Don't just watch from your screen. Be part of this mass action. If you are, you are away from this country, you can do it. You can support in any means, even coming online and giving people reason why to be part of this mass action. Now, uh, from yesterday at night, people have been trooping to Nairobi in preparation for the mass action. I've seen youth even camping at Jakaranda. They say they want to cook at Jakaranda. They are cooking there. They say they are going to sleep at Jakaranda and they are going, going to camp there until morning to prepare just to start the massive mass action right from there. CBD. So that the activity that has been going on uh, at night. And by the way, there's a message which was also shared by ODM party, which I find it so much important for us to have it. This one is a word from the man of God addressing Rigazi Gashagwa and William Ruto's government. He's asking a simple question. If this government has been reduced to a company where people have shareholders, uh, shares, so it means that if you don't have if you're not a shareholder you're not part of that company the question is why should we pay taxes to such kind of a company <laughs> listen to him so that you can find a reason why you should be in this demonstration to change these people from office they are not worthy they should not be anywhere in public office they should go and run private companies where they will be in charge of their shares and then somebody stands in public somebody who has still not remembered that he's not the deputy president of uda this is the deputy president of the republic of kenya and says he is a in the company if it is a company Please stop asking for our tax. Ask the shareholders to pay because they are the ones who own this company. If it is a company, we should not be paying the tax. It is a sad day for Kenya if that has to come from that high office. It is a sad day. Kenya belongs to everybody else. Kenya is not a company. Now, the Bible says that it is good to tell the truth and the truth will set you free. So, the clergy has delivered the truth to regard the Gashagwa and William Samuel Ruto that why should we continue paying taxes to a company where we don't belong? That's a big question. So, they should know that no one wants to associate with this kind of leadership. They rather get out and Kenyans should force them out because they have refused to listen also. 
Let them not run their company using our taxpayers. So we are going to wait. By the way, I want to share with you some of the uh, activities that was, was, was happening at night and in the evening for you just to understand what happened and what you should be expecting going forward. Because youth did not sleep. In fact, they have been demonstrating from the night. They have been walking around the streets and they have been mobilizing people to turn out in their numbers. And the youth are finding a reason why they should be part of this demonstration. We are talking about help, which benefited William Samirut to be who he is, which made him to meet even the retired president, the late teacher, Moy, the late. It was help that helped him. Now he's removing that one. He's removing school fees subsidy. So youth are finding a reason why they should be part of this mass action. Watch this video to understand what was happening yesterday at night. It's just a collection of different areas within the country. Oi. Vijana oe! Oi. Vijana power! power. Vijana power. power! Siku imefika! Masa imebaki only six hours! Na baba mesema tunapatana pale KICC 6 a.m. Sa kumi na mbili ya subui. Na mina takuambia baba tutafika kabla ya jeshi ifike. Jeshi watatupata CBD. Vijana mtakuwa CBD? Mtakuwa sangapi? Kuna mbili. Vijana kazi yetu ni kurauka. Sababu ya kwanza ya kuandamana, garama ya maisha imepanda. Kila mtu wanafinyiliwa. Hata askari mwenyewa maisha imemfinya ni kuongea taki kuongea. Kitu ya pili ya kuandamana, ruto mwenyewe alisoma na kitu inaitua elb. Hamekutia kayondoa, hamesema mtoto wa maskini na mtoto wa mamamboga asomi. Kesho ndo tapatana na ruto, atuambia sababu ya kutoa elb. Ilikuwa gani, na atuambia... Baada ya masaa 24 watoto wote wa University of Nairobi, Moi University kila mahali mtoto wa University yako Nairobi atakuwa na access ya help. Hiyo itakuwa mission yetu ya kesho. Mission nyingine ni kufungua server na ndio muhimu zaidi. Ushindi wa baba urudi. Vijana, tunataka ushindi wa baba urudishwe kwa sababu ya ndo alikuwa mkombozi ya wa Kenya kama irudishwi kila mkenya apatiwa ya kiyake kila mtu apatiwa ya kiyake vizuza za chakula zishuke wanabunge oe wanabunge oe kesho ni kesho msama kesho leo ni leo msama kesho ni mwa leo ni leo msama kesho ni mwa siku ya kuamka imefika hakuna kulala na mze leo leo ni kutoka subui na mapema za kumi na mbili tutakuwa pale kenya ICC na mi nataka kuambia ruto Ma, wanajeshi wako watabiev na wala polisi ambao utakuna tupiga ambao utakuna dhurumu ujua constitution article 37 inatupea rusa ya kuandamana that way tutakuwa kwa demonstration kama wala utatuma wezi wakujo wa ibe Aliingia kwa chama cha ODM miezi sita kabla ya uchaguzi Na leo anasema ati maandamano hakuna langata. Yeye ni mcheka mama yake. Bali ameingia chama chama kimsaidia. Maandamano yetu maandamano ya peace ndio. Ile kitu tutaangalia sana. Ni the panel of discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please just consider subscribing to our return sub subscribers. And master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, for those who thought that this is going to be a joke, now you can see the reality on the ground. There is no jokes here. Even the police officers who are trying to intimidate Kenyans, whom they need to protect, they have to understand that there is no jokes here. This is a serious mass action. People have every reason to come out in their numbers. If police officers are not having any problem with this government, 
then we Kenyans, we have a reason and a problem that we need to send a message to this regime. So already the people are outside here just waiting to start the mass action. And as we are speaking now, of course, the real mass action is starting now. So we have to get out and understand that we will not continue to sleep hungry and keep quiet. No. Flaitaji chakula. Isi rekali ambaye na chukua ushuru yetu, isipereka wa kampuni yao, wakue yao ndo shareholders. Waleta pesa yetu, wa subsidize food, so that we can have dignified life. Help should be guaranteed to all students in this country. Let help be there. Let people, let students under, uh, enjoy. We say that in this country, the only equalizer between the poor and the rich, it is education. And uh, thank God we had help, which was here to help those who cannot afford. You score good marks, but then you cannot afford. So the government has to make it possible for you. You remove it, it means you are reducing it to the rich people who can afford it to have education. What about that child from a poor family who cannot raise school, raise school fees, but yet we can see a doctor in that child. We can see a professor in that child. We can see a great future in those students. So you deny them those chances because you want only dynasty to have a chance at the top ten. So people have a reason to demonstrate and no one can stop this. That the current situation we are having now in the country, it means how wealthy Toboa kwa saizi kubadlisha mawazo ya wa Kenya. They are determined no one will stop them. We know some people have been bought here and there. Goons are on the street. They have been paid to try and disrupt and counter this mass action. I want to tell you, Anyone who will be on the street against the mass action demonstrating because Kenyans who are hungry, who are disgruntled, are demonstrating, regard those people as goons. Yes, I've said it. Regard them as goons. These are real goons in this country. And they have been paid to come and uh, counter the demonstrations. Some of them will be dressed even in ODM, wiper and the uh, uh, DAPK party uniforms. Watapewa hizo nguo za, za orange, watapewa za hiyo DAPK, watapewa za wiper, watava. And they will come to disrupt. Those are goons being paid. So, anyone Malala is going to fund, anyone that will be joining Malala in any kind of a demonstration to counter the truthful, rightful, the meaningful demonstration that is going to happen in this country, all of those people are goons. So they should be treated as such. Because there is no one who can assume that the country is doing well and assume that, you know, after we, we are sleeping hungry, I mean, we have big problem. Parents, we cannot pay school fees. And as you know, we do help here and there. But then, we cannot, hatuna pesa. Life is becoming, why is the shilling losing value? Now, 140 to a dollar. No, we don't go that way. This is a failed regime. They just must go home. Pesa inapoteza value. Then people are just being treated like you know, there's no one who's listening to these people. People are closing companies, no jobs because high cost of high 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 cost of production. Then we are saying that stolen election. And then the game will end there. So you have all reasons to be part of this mass action. So that in the next election in this country we can have free, fair and credible election. Because these people are not elected by through the ballot, that's why they are doing nothing, they don't care about you. But if you did, they could have come to power through the ballot, they will listen and you will have subsidized food. 
education will be free. Jobs will be guaranteed. Because they know, they will know where they got their vote. But because they understand how they got to power, they care nothing about you. Be part of the mass action. Come out in your numbers and then be part of the story. The story to change our country for good.